Okay, we are coming up on the time of the year where your social media feeds are going to be inundated with super, super cute first day of school traditions, pictures and plaques and stickers and all the stuff. And so today we are talking about first day of homeschool traditions. I'm Jacqueline. This is homeschoolhangout.xyz, where I, a veteran homeschooler of 17 years, make videos to help you homeschool with calmness, clarity, and peace. This is actually part of a collaboration, and it is being hosted by, uh, I've got to look, uh, Shauna from Homegrown Homeschool. And at the end of this video, not now, you can go down to the bottom and see a full playlist of everyone who's participating in the collaboration. And let's dig in. Okay, confession. Why am I participating in this? Because I'm boring and boring needs to be represented. What do I mean by that? We don't really have any real official first day of homeschooling traditions. I've been doing this a long time. We're boring. Frankly, when, when we started homeschooling, this wasn't a thing when my oldest child first started homeschooling. Now we have some unofficial traditions. And what do I mean by that? We always tended to start homeschooling right after VBS. Well, that means it was usually in June, middle end of June. And I have three children who have June birthdays. So part of our beginning of homeschool tradition was kind of a little bit of, we're going to do a little bit of school with our new books, and then we're going to go redeem your birthday freebies. And so that meant, you know, if they were giving away a free dessert at this one place, or we went and got them all kids meals at like California Pizza Kitchen when that was open near us, that's the closest thing we did to first day of school traditions. And even then, we might do it during VBS. We might do it when we first start schooling. It really had more to do with the calendar than the school. I know. You're like, Jackie, this is a big waste of a video. Why are you making it? Because it's okay. It's okay to not do some fun yet silly little tradition. Do not be pressured based on what you see on social media. Do what is right for you and your family. And yeah, it would have been cute, but here's the other part. You start calling these things traditions, you're going to be doing them for the next 12 years if you're not careful. And you're not going to want to do them. And it's like, but I have to. I do it every year. So I should probably do it again. And that goes with the kids too. Mom, I am 14. I don't want to be standing out here for this picture. Whereas their sisters... Not that it would ever be that in my house. Their sisters are going, yeah, yeah, we have to take a picture. If we don't take a picture, I'm going to cry because this is our family tradition. Now, if that works for you and your family, that is awesome. I am so happy for you. And don't get me wrong. We have other traditions, and you can see some of our other, our other traditions. We have a year-end meeting, and we have a year-planning meeting with our kids of, like, what do you want to be studying? What do you want more of? What do you want less of? And that can be anything. They can say, I didn't like how much homework I got. And sometimes you get tough. But sometimes you can work together to find something everyone's happier with. So we have plenty of little traditions. We have a Christmas party every year, except for when we don't. One year my husband had heart issues and I was having surgeries. We didn't have it then. And COVID, definitely. But we have other traditions and we don't do anything like this. Now, that said, I think it's a adorable. I think it's great. I wanted to be one of those moms who, you know, for everyone's birthday, I always had these huge traditions or for this, just to let everyone feel loved and cared for. It has worked out in my family that we show that we love and care in other ways, you know, and, and I got to be honest, my oldest living at home is 21 and she would probably participate in anything, but her brother who's going to be 19 be like, uh, peace out, peace out. And then you have to decide how much you're making kids do it. So all this to say, I do not think these traditions are wrong. I do not think they're bad. I do not think they're a waste. But if you just don't happen to be one of those moms who does that, don't worry about it. It's okay. It is okay. And I say moms because I'm a mom, but moms or dads or aunts or uncles or grandmas or whatever. It's okay. It is okay. So all that said, what do you do? I want to know. I want to live vicariously through you. Leave it down below and then go check out everyone else's videos. Talk to you guys later.